drinking buddies. About a year and a half ago, I made a video called best, Five Best Alternatives to Weller and Pappy Van Winkle. And I'm still proud of that video. I made it, but I made it fairly early in my bourbon journey. And I've had quite a few weeded bourbon since then. And I think I can do better. I think I can give you five even better alternatives to Weller and Pappy Van Winkle. Let's get right into it. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> All right, drinking buddies. So as you guys know, Weller is really hard to find and Van Winkle is only available in lotteries or maybe you're a president or something and they give you a bottle. Um, uh, I did, since I made that video, land a Van Winkle myself and I have the whole Weller line now, except for the CYPB. That's the only one I'm missing. But I often will wait in line two hours just to end up with nothing. So I'm doing a lot of hunting to get those bottles. And I think I can give you five bottles that are a little easier to find, at least in my area, that'll really make you happy and might even be better in some cases than some of the Weller line. Let's start first with a really comparable bottle to Weller Special Reserve. One that you may not have thought of recently. It's better than Larceny, it's better than Weller Special Reserve, and it's available everywhere. Regular Maker's Mark crushes Weller Special Reserve. I'm sorry, it just does. This is a really good product. It's everywhere. You can get this at gas stations and it is a solid product. But if we're gonna look at bottles that are a little bit higher end, almost everything else is gonna be somewhat allocated. So please don't tell me in the comments that my suggestions weren't helpful because these bottles are just as hard to find as Weller and Van Winkle. Because first of all, they're not. <laughs> they just might not have the same distribution as Weller and, and Van Winkle that are available in all 50 states. However, good luck finding them. That Weller Special Reserve, I know you can find it if you live in Texas and Ohio. But other than that, even the other bottles are really hard to find pretty much in all 50 states. Four more bottles that are comparable to Weller and Van Winkle. Allocated, but easier to come by than Weller Full Proof is going to be Larceny Barrel Proof. These are gonna be a little bit higher octane than the Weller Full Proof, uh, which is at 114 proof, but the 124.4 that I have here doesn't taste that hot. It's a really, really solid bottle. In fact, let's have a little bit. Should probably rinse my glass. I'm not a savage. So Larceny Barrel Proofs, um, I've actually uh, skipped buying them quite a few times. Um, so I can tell you they're not as hard to find as the Van Winkle line. I promise you. They're easier to find than the Weller line. I promise you. Um, and if you get a really good one, like this A122, you are going to be pleased because this doesn't taste nearly 124 proof. It's loaded with some really good peanut butter flavor. Um, it has got bourbon vanilla, and on the finish, you get a little bit of that cherry that you expect off of Buffalo Trace and off of Weller. Next up, number three. There's gonna be another weeder that you can compare to Weller and Van Winkle, and that is going to be Maker's Mark Private Selections. Now, you won't be able to get the exact same bottles I have up here, but I can walk into Total Wine, for example, anytime I want and get one of these. They're always gonna have picks of Maker's Special Editions. I've This one came from Total Wine, but this one came from Albertson Safeway. Some of my local grocery stores have done barrel picks with them. Barrel picks from Maker's Mark are out there. You can find them. They're delicious. I know each one can vary. For example, this one, they used five pure baked American oak staves, one seared French cuvee, four Maker's 46 staves, and then that's it. That's what they put in this one. And then this one, they used two seared cuvee, three Maker's 46, four roasted French mindenant, and one toasted French spice. 
This one has a really unique flavor because they didn't add any uh, baked American pure um, staves to it. Uh, so you get like a really different flavor because there's so much French oak in this one. Uh, but these are out there. You can find them. Trust me. Next up, um, I'm going to go ahead and suggest a bottle that isn't even available in Arizona. However, I do hear that it has distribution in many other states. It's not even a weeded bourbon necessarily. It might be. I don't know if it's a weeded bourbon or not. However, it, it shares some of the same flavor profiles as the Weller line. It's got that cherry and um, it's made in the Stitzel Weller distillery that used to make Weller a long time ago. Um, but yeah, uh, Blade & Bow, um, this is a not that hard to come by, really nice 90 proof product, 91 proof product. Uh, you can collect the keys and then get your little uh, um, special a uh, julep cup at the distillery if you ever go there. So the last one, and uh, this one is one that I can walk into Total Wine right now and buy. I was just in California and they have it in their Total Wines as well. Um, this one happens to be a pick from Total Wine and that is what I'm specifically talking about because they do have them at my local Total Wine and they have them in California. So I know it's an available in at least two states, but if you can't get the picks, that's okay. Just find yourself a fiddler. Fiddler from ASW Distillery. What is it? They take MGP 51% uh, corn, 46% uh, winter wheat recipe, uh, weed, weeded bourbon, send it to Georgia. Georgia takes it, puts it in new barrels, and adds in charred Georgia heartwood staves to it. This makes for a really dark, really syrupy, really complex bourbon that tastes a lot older than it is. Now, this bourbon's probably under five years old, but it tastes like it's 15. Um, really complex. I think this is comparable to William LaRue Weller or Old Rip 10. Um, it's comparable. It's not as good as Van Winkle 15 year, but it's in that ballpark. It's in that realm. Um, no, it's not as good, but it's in that realm and you can find this. So those are my five bottles that I think are comparable to the Weller and Van Winkle line that you can actually find. Um, like I said, distribution is varied from state to state, but I think if you do a little bit of hunting, you can find at least a couple of these. Drinking buddies, I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.